In today's video, I'm showing you how I'm turning this pile of reclaimed pallet wood into a noodle board or a stovetop cover, whatever you want to call it. They're really cool. And after you watch this video, you're going to want to build one or buy one of your own. Not sure how much audio I've gotten from this whole thing. Just realized everything was turned off. But going back to it, uh, broke down a pallet. Uh, it was thrown out to the road, so it was free wood, price of lumber. Take anything you can get at this point. As you can see from the video, uh, I used a uh, circular saw, cut off the ends, was able to wobble them back and forth to lift up the center nails and able to uh, pry most of them off pretty easy. My initial idea <clears throat> is to do a uh, maybe a rustic noodle board. Should be interesting. So we get. Not too shabby. Use a little bit of tweaks on the old uh, cutting jig. So with this noodle board or stove top cover, I'm doing mine. It's gonna be 29 and three quarters long and 22 inches uh, wide going this way. Uh, handles will be here. Perfect world, that didn't pop through the other side. Right, let that uh, glue wipe it down. That dry a touch, a lot to take down. So I'm gonna start out with 60 grit. See what that gets me. So yeah, I'm throwing on the whitewash now. Uh, this is stuff I mixed up and used uh, for some other projects. Basically just white paint, watered down a little bit. The nice part about it is if, uh, if it doesn't turn out the way I want, I can always just sand it off. Uh, more importantly, I guess if it doesn't turn out the way my wife wants, I can sand it down and uh, stain it or whatever. It should look nice. As I mentioned earlier, uh, save your old shower curtains, uh, the liners, and you can use those as uh, drop cloths. So cheap and effective, and cheap is always good. Other side. Nice part about a uh, <clears throat> rolling workbench. Stuff around and get to the other side of it easy. Uh, if you haven't seen the uh, video that I did for the workbench that I'm working on, uh, 
It's pretty cool. Folds up, uh, stores on the wall. It's got storage, which is behind me if you see it in the video. And uh, it's uh, kind of game changer as far as me being able to do stuff in the garage. So we're doing up the handles now. Uh, I've actually did the first one. Didn't get it on video, but we'll show you the second one. Drilled holes already. Uh, got it centered where I want. Got the holes drilled where I want them to. I'm sure. pretty happy about that. Should, uh, go a little bit more sparing on the uh, wood glue because I'm sure it's going to leak out. And you don't want to have to try to sand that down after I already painted. Probably should have uh, planned this out a little bit better. Recess those. we go. It's uh, the old noodle board. Okay, Want to get it stuck down really good, make sure there's no air bubbles. back with a uh, cloth and press those down even better. Definitely want to make sure that uh, whatever you're printing, whether it's a, a photo or what is uh, coated evenly and over everything you want to transfer. That's it, back tomorrow. Moment of truth. See how the uh, Mod Podge transfer worked out? Just uh, water, basically wet down the paper to get the ink to show through, just like that. And then we're gonna just rub the paper off. trick is to uh, rub it just hard enough to get the paper off and not take the ink off with it. Okay, one coat of polyurethane is on. We'll let her dry and we'll come back and get it. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good so far. For uh, basically free wood, can't complain. All right, my friends, that's the little board of stove top cover. It's not a difficult project to make. Uh, it's a great little space saver for our kitchen. I'm going to be really happy with the project, and the wife will be pretty happy with that as well. Highly recommend building one of your own, but if you do build one, or you go out and buy a noodle board or stovetop cover, be careful putting it on your stove. Don't put it on your stove. If your stove's running, you will burn your house down or start a fire, and we all want to avoid that. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you do that, YouTube will recommend this video to more folks, and more folks will be able to see it and hopefully get some value out of it, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you do that. Other than that, I want you to know one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, Get out in your garage and do something epic, like build a noodle board. See ya.